Hello everyone and today I'm going to be reviewing, hello Sam here by the way, I'm going to be reviewing or looking at, well I'm going to be opening it in front of the camera and going oh look at that, that's my version anyway, hello, uh, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be looking at this book that promises and it promises I will be able to draw by the end of it because it says so on it. OK, you will not you might. No, 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 no. You will be able to draw by the end of this book in coloured pencils. OK, I got this a while ago, actually, and I've sort of vaguely looked at it, but I've been getting into coloured pencils. I'd like to do better with them. So let's have a go. It's by Jake Spicer, who is this black and white pictured man here. Apparently he's from Brighton. It's very nice is Brighton so there you go it has this um I don't know why thing um I don't know why just why unless it's supposed to be like bits where you do it on other bits of paper and you keep them in this book and that would keep it all together that's the only thing I can think of so yeah there you go uh right so it's it's interesting by a bound one you are supposed to be able to draw in this so the paper is, I mean, it, it's obviously not, uh, not it's not laminated, is it? But sometimes it's coated and gives it this glossy, I'm sure there's a posh word for it, but it's not that. So you should be able to draw on this thing. So look and put my name on it. It's got, this is what it has. I'm not going through it all. There you go. This is it. So first it's, what do you want to draw today? Now we've got drawing, colouring, ordering composing and appendices so interesting so far so far I, th I think yeah hopefully it will have some some different ways of doing it and just showing me how to actually use pencils because right now I am guessing so we've got an introduction here ah we don't need that uh finding a sub subject right now I'm doing um different art I'm doing a monthly art challenge every month so I'm drawing every day so I, I I'm told what to draw so we'll go past that shall we this is how to use this book all right so you start with the first chapter fair enough draw in the book get a separate sketchbook I've already got one of them repeat exercises don't just try something once repeat useful exercises again and again in your sketchbook yes that does make sense be playful explore your colored pencils use them playfully I'm sure they had fun with that. Focus on process. Any single drawing can succeed or fail. You'll have good days and bad days of drawing. Don't dwell on outcomes, but aim to improve your drawing process. A stronger process will lead to better drawings in the long run. I like that. I think I'm finding with, what is it? It's, I don't know when I'm going to actually send this out, but it is middle of March. So I've been doing a couple of, like two and a half months worth of, and of um, these challenges. And some days it's just... Boop, that'll do. Um, some days have just been awful and other days I've been quite, quite proud of, of what I've done. So, yeah, you just keep going and it's an overall process rather than this day. I did awfully. That means I'm an awful artist. I, I like that. So we're going over core skills and monochromatic palette. Woo, that means one colour, doesn't it? See, I know stuff. And we've got some information on actual pencils, a coloured pencil, materials. It's going into quite um, quite quite detailed stuff here. <laughs> this is actually yeah okay. He's a, he's apparently an art teacher, so you'd hope he knows how to actually teach you. So a bit more information. I'm liking this on how to what the different kind of pencils are and things. Oh oh look, we got our first thing. Look, bl make a blind contour drawing here. So this exercise will help you to look at your subject, see edges clearly and draw with a single unselfconscious line. It is a playful meditative exercise that will uh, get your eye working together with your hand and makes a good daily drawing exercise. So a profile. So this is, this is where I am right now. OK, so we, we've sort of got the couch there. So I can I can see the couch. And there's a bit of a gap there because we need to move the, uh, there's one of those like Ikea in bits kind of things. So that's that. And then the ring light is here. So I can't see anything other than that. So there's my ring light. And out here is uh, a little 
a table there and another little table there um, and up here is the TV <laughs> the if you can hear that that's the cat having a scratch you enjoying that are you that's good uh, TV there or the TV stand that goes back like that up John over here's and there's my telly there <laughs> And the dog bed's there, and there's another dog bed down there, which I can't quite see. And actually that comes out. Now that comes out because that's the chaise lounge. Oh, I have a chaise lounge. And there's the, there's the cat. There's Philip sitting there. She's having a little lick. Oh, now, now, she's, now she's going for a, her paw. There you go. Oh, hello, Philip. Philip is a girl, yes. We didn't know that. But she's a tortoiseshell, and apparently all tortoiseshells are girls, so we should have known that. But the nice post lady said, oh, this is a boy. So we're like, okay, call her Philip. It's from uh, the Mighty Boosh. Anyone out there a Mighty Boosh fan? And do you recognise the name Philip for a cat? I'm just wondering. Stick, stick it down if you know. Just stick it down. So there's Philip. Okay. I've, I've done it. Can I draw now? Um, maybe I'm rushing a bit. Right, we're going on to negative spaces here. And he's, you know, he's showing the good, good, okay, I'm liking this. That's a good show of how to, to go through it and, uh, you know, lay out your shapes and using straight edges. And, oh, she's really enjoying that scroll. Oh, she's almost off the couch. Philip, you're on the edge of the couch. I know you're trying to get into the inner ear roll, but just chill it out a bit. Oh, seeing light and shadow. Right, so we've got this. I'll just I'll flick through a little bit more, shall I? I just wanted to give you an idea, but actually, yeah, I flicked through this once, but I didn't really have a good look. I do this. I think that I'll I'll buy this and I'll do it, and it'll be great. And I don't do it. So we've got a bit of tone mark making, um, different variants on shadows and things, tonal shapes. Good old ball and shadow there. Oh look, we could do it there. This is quite good actually. He's 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 laid it out so we want we want a shadow there that's our shadow and then you've got a light bit and a slightly less light bit and and then we just do it apparently start with the subject outlines lightly draw internal shapes build up the hatching in the mid tones so we're hatching are we I don't I don't want to hatch any more on board. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just I'm just filling the I'm filling in my ball sometimes you just do you know what you just fill in your ball trouble is this is a, well, it's a 2b pencil and you can't get that dark so maybe I picked the wrong pencil but I mean you, you're getting the idea I, I this is my thing I need to slow down I need to take more time to actually do this I said it in another video, I think maybe the everyday challenge was a not a mistake. I think it's going to be useful. But for me, because I, I work full time and all the rest of it, everything, everything else you end up doing as a, a annoyingly adult. But we there we go. It's, it's fine. But yeah, I think maybe once a week would have been better than I could have one thing and I just spend time on it. Maybe one day I'll just sit there and sketch it and the next day I sort of plan it out a bit more. Because some days I really have just gone boop. <laughs> Literally, if you watch my other video, my um, February wrap up, I've hurt my back and I just couldn't sit there long enough. So one day I went boop and put bird and it was a bird in the distance it still counts but anyway there you go there's my ball it's a yeah okay oh okay so this is good because it's set out there's there's some good information here i think he's explaining things quite well i'm very pleased so far um some uh examples i i paused for a good 10 seconds then thinking what's that word some good examples and then we've got space to practice so the practice where the examples are so that's good. So we're moving forward. Whoa, okay, we've moved really far forward. Um, 
We're drawing people now, apparently. So palettes versus schemes. In this chapter, you'll find pages that suggest that focus on color palettes. Suggested, uh, can why can't I read? Suggested combinations of colored pencils that you can use in your drawings. Okay, so this is sort of giving us the idea of the palette and how they all blend together. I like blending colored pencils, so this is good and showing you how you can make different colors with the pencils that you've got. Okay, moved on to tone. So there you go. We're going through with to different tones. Describing colours. Ooh. Oh, this is good. Okay, coloured pencils, when they're arranged in their tin, coloured pencils arranged by colour dimensions. So you've got light desaturated, saturated, and dark desaturated. So it's it got some, some good information in this. I'm liking this. Okay. I'm supposed to draw a hand, am I? Okay. Again, I, I could have a go at that. I could have a go at that. You practice here. Unfortunately, it is on a different page of that one, but you can't get everything on the same page, so I'm okay with that. Blending. Oh, moving forward. Three colour palettes. So he's giving you the coloured pencils that you could use. Oh, okay. So a warm muted palette, cool, um, or a bright contemporary palette to do the different types. I, I like that. I'd like to have a go at that. I think I might actually use this book. <laughs> I, I have such good intentions, but then it's like, oh, but the telly's over there. And I think, oh, well, never mind. But yeah, I think I'm actually, I'm, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised so far. I may do, should I do like a video at the end of the year or something saying how I got on? So going to skin colours and different ways of doing that. I really want to draw people. I think different coloured skin as well. That's good. We're not just, you know, one size does not fit all, strangely enough. Um, so yeah, okay. Different ways of doing it and shading. I like in that. Yeah, because I'd like to be able to draw people. I just I can't. I'm a bit face blind. I once watched The Departed. I was tired. It was after work, and I was in the corner of the cinema, and I think I fell asleep at some stage. So in my defence, but I think I was a good halfway through the video, the the movie before I realised. DiCaprio and and Matt what's it with two different people <laughs> I kept wondering how come oh he's wearing a suit so when he goes in there but I thought he wasn't supposed to be going in there and, and now he's he's out there and it's like what's going on then I realize oh oh dear oh I'm just flicking through now that looks like color color cloud studies oh I like oh I'm not good at that that looks nice Line, tone and colour. Okay, I think I've given you a good a good idea. I don't want to spoil the end. <laughs> I'm funny. But anyway, so there you go. I, I'll, I'll, whoops, go, go away pencil. I don't need you right now. There we go. But anyway, what do you think? Do you like the look of it? I, I haven't looked, but I assume seeing it's colon coloured pencils, he's done other ones. I wouldn't mind having a look. But I'm going to have a go. I'm going to try and sit here maybe just like 10 minutes a day. Do you know what? If you could just get off your own back and just say, look, if I just sit there and open the book, that's enough. That will then get you on a roll of going, well, I've opened the book now. I might as well. Well, I'll read the next page. But if you think I've got to sit through all of this and do it, you will never open it because that's just too much. But I'll have a go. I will have a go and I will report back at some stage in existence. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and all of that awesome stuff. And I'll see you next time for whatever silly thing I'm up to. Bye.